Hello again, everyone. This is Abra, and I'm back to give my two cents on John Malin's Omega Storm. Omega Storm is the spinoff from comic creator John Malin's Graveyard Shift series. First off, full disclosure. While I did order a copy of Omega Storm, John Malin was kind enough to reach out to see if I'd be interested in reviewing the book, to which I enthusiastically said, heck yeah. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. The story centers around a team of super-powered individuals who go by the title of Omega Storm. The story is about a serial killer, dubbed Georgie Porgy, who has been brutally murdering members in the superhero community in an incredibly sadistic fashion. Before the team has a chance to hunt down the killer, an even bigger threat emerges. This new danger threatens the entire planet. Rather than hunker down and wait for the danger to come to us, the various groups around the world band together along with members of the Graveyard Shift, to take the fight to the enemy. So now not only do the members of Omega Storm have to deal with stopping an impending alien invasion, they have to deal with the possibility that the superhero serial killer is most likely hiding among them for the mission. John Malin's Omega Storm is definitely not for the faint of heart. The story kicks off with some deeply disturbing content and imagery, to the point where I literally said, holy sh** out loud. Then the story transitions into a couple of pages of exposition, broken down into news report type segments. This is meant to highlight for readers just how extensive Georgie Porgy's reign of terror has been. Malin chose to stick to the writer role for this comic outing and handpicked the talented Tommy Patterson to handle the penciling. In my opinion, Tommy knocked it out of the park and inkers Ben Smith, Nick Schley, and Jimmy Reyes complemented his work very well. The art in Omega Storm harkens back to the glory days of comics when the big two were at the top of their game. As I was reading the book, it reminded me of 90s Marvel X-Men, specifically with the character designs and intense action. The colors were vibrant and really made everything pop off the page. John Malin gave each of the characters in Omega Storm a unique voice through the dialogue. From the dude bro banter of Kronos and Ark, the quick Ivan Drago-esque one-liners from the Russian Alexei, to the low IQ thug-like banter of villains such as Gawat. Each character felt unique. The story progresses pretty steadily and felt well-paced. There were a few exceptions where the story would flash back to a previous point in order to explain things to the reader. And for the most part it worked, but there were one or two flashbacks that felt slightly out of place and seemed to disrupt the action. While Omega Storm does end on a cliffhanger, it pauses at a part that still feels satisfying, with the team having managed to carry out a rather difficult and harrowing mission. Overall, I really enjoyed Omega Storm, but I would be remiss if I didn't address the elephant in the room. This graphic novel is definitely for mature audiences. Some of the content it discusses is very explicit and quite disturbing. John is facing some backlash over just how graphic some of the content is, especially the epilogue. So did John Malin go too far? That decision is best left to the individual readers. I'm not gonna lie, I found the ending very disturbing. However, the more I thought about it, the more I came to view it as John Malin's way of showcasing just how deplorable Georgie Porgy really is. So did John Malin include such over-the-top content merely for shock value? Perhaps. However, I view it no differently than the horrendous actions of fictional characters such as Kevin Spacey in the movie Seven or Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. Including such content will likely turn some readers off from Malin's future stories, but John said he set out to make a statement, shake things up, and get everyone talking. And I would have to say it's mission accomplished. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.